If you've spent any time in downtown Salt Lake lately, you've seen construction of tall buildings in just about every block. This is a view right now from our Salt Lake Tribune camera. It's a building boom with a theme that will make Utah's biggest urban center an entirely different place. Fox 13 News anchor Max Roth joins us live from downtown Salt Lake this afternoon. Max. Yeah, hello, Bob. You know, if you have been here, you may have seen the construction of this giant Hyatt Regency Hotel that's going to open soon. Now, think about it. You want to go to a new city and experience it. You don't want to be in a business district that turns into a ghost town at night. You want to be in a place that has life, people living there. Well, in 1990, there were about 3,000 people living in downtown Salt Lake City. Right now, there are somewhere around 10,000, and by the end of this decade, there will probably be north of 20,000. In 1981, this photo shows construction of Utah's first residential tower topping 300 feet, American Towers South, soon to have an identical sister tower north. By 2020, Salt Lake City had 12 skyscrapers reaching higher than 300 feet, but just one more was residential. 99 West on South Temple, part of the City Creek Center, joined American Towers, all three buildings condominium towers. Now, Salt Lake City's building boom is bringing something new. City dwellers in a big way, but not condo owners. Thousands of new apartments, including hundreds in two high-end apartment towers, soon to join that 300-plus club on the skyline. The Astra Tower will top out at 400 feet, 39 stories with 377 apartments. And at 200 East and 300 South, a 335-foot apartment tower, 31 stories, 359 apartments. And aside from mega towers, the Downtown Alliance is tracking 10 other projects, adding 1,957 more apartments to Salt Lake City's downtown. All right, and you're looking at American Towers built in the early 1980s. Now imagine, 40 years from then to now, and only one 300-foot residential structure built in downtown Salt Lake City. So this is a huge change, a lot of people coming to a place that didn't used to have them. Bob? Max, there are some beautiful renderings there that we just saw. Are any of these new developments offering affordable housing? Okay, the short answer is yes, but not those beautiful rendered buildings that you just saw. The real, the high rises, those are luxury apartments, and that's what they're emphasizing. But those other 1,900 and some apartments that are coming downtown, a lot of them include officially affordable housing. What that means is they meet a certain percentage of uh, apartments that will be affordable to people who earn a percentage of the median income of this area.